Peter Breck died of a secret. When his wife revealed it, Peter Breck was born Joseph. Peter Breck on March 13, 1929, in Haverhill, Massachusetts. Growing up in this small New England town, Breck was exposed to the simplicity of rural life, which would later influence his approach to acting and storytelling. Breck's formative years were spent immersed in the tranquility of rural Massachusetts. Far removed from the hustle and bustle of urban life, he experienced the beauty of nature firsthand and developed a deep appreciation for its wonders. This rustic environment provided Breck with a rich tapestry of experiences, from exploring wooded trails to swimming in pristine lakes, all of which would later inform his portrayal of characters grounded in nature and authenticity. Haverhill High School served as the backdrop for Breck's academic and personal growth. Here, amidst the corridors and classrooms of this educational institution, he honed not only his intellectual faculties, but also his passion for the performing arts. Engaging in school plays and extracurricular activities, Breck showcased his burgeoning talent and innate charisma, garnering praise from peers and mentors alike. His time at Haverhill High School laid the foundation for his future pursuits in acting and set him on a path toward realizing his dreams. Peter Breck's breakthrough came with his portrayal of Clay Culhane in the television series Black Saddle, which aired from 1959 to 1960. This role marked a pivotal moment in Breck's career, propelling him into the spotlight and solidifying his place in the annals of television history. As Clay Culhane, a gunfighter turned lawyer seeking redemption in the Wild West, Breck captivated audiences with his nuanced performance and magnetic screen presence. His portrayal of Culhane resonated deeply with viewers, who were drawn to the character's complex morality and unwavering sense of justice. Breck's portrayal of Clay Culhane in Black Saddle garnered widespread critical acclaim, earning him accolades for his exceptional talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Critics praised Breck's ability to breathe life into the character, seamlessly blending vulnerability with steely resolve to create a multifaceted portrayal that transcended the conventions of the Western genre. His commanding presence and emotional depth captivated audiences and critics alike establishing him as a force to be reckoned with in the world of television. The wor One of Peter Breck's most memorable roles came in the form of Nick Barkley, the hot-headed and fiercely loyal son of Victoria Barkley, in the iconic television series The Big Valley. Running from 1965 to 1969, the show depicted the trials and tribulations of the Barkley family as they navigated the challenges of ranch life in the Old West. Breck's portrayal of Nick Barclay showcased his versatility as an actor as he seamlessly transitioned from moments of intense drama to lighthearted humor with ease. His character's dynamic arc, which saw Nick evolve from a brash and impulsive young man into a seasoned rancher and family patriarch, allowed Breck to showcase his range as a performer and endeared him to audiences around the world. In addition to his starring role in The Big Valley, Peter Breck made numerous notable guest appearances on popular television shows of the era, further solidifying his status as a versatile and in-demand actor. From dramas to comedies, Breck's impressive range allowed him to inhabit a diverse array of characters, each imbued with his trademark intensity and charisma. Whether portraying a troubled lawman, a charming con artist, or a stoic military officer, Breck brought depth and authenticity to every role, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Peter Breck's transition from television to film was marked by a prolific body of work that spanned the 1960s and 1970s. During this period, Breck showcased his talent and versatility on the silver screen captivating audiences with his compelling performances and magnetic presence. From gritty crime thrillers to heartwarming family dramas, Breck's filmography reflected his commitment to exploring diverse characters and narratives, solidifying his reputation as a versatile and in-demand actor in both mediums. Among Peter Breck's most notable film credits are his roles in Thunder Road, 1958, and Benji, 1974, 
two iconic films that left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. In Thunder Road, Breck delivered a riveting performance as Robin Doolin, a young moonshiner embroiled in a dangerous cat-and-mouse game with law enforcement. His portrayal of Doolin showcased his ability to inhabit complex characters with depth and authenticity, earning him praise from critics and solidifying his status as a rising star in Hollywood. Similarly, in Benji, Breck brings warmth and charm to the role of Dr. Chapman, a compassionate veterinarian who forms a special bond with the titular canine protagonist. His portrayal added emotional depth to the heartwarming family film, further highlighting his versatility as an actor and endearing him to audiences of all ages. While Peter Breck was best known for his work in television, his foray into film allowed him to further showcase his range and versatility as an actor. From rugged cowboys to compassionate doctors, Breck inhabited a diverse array of characters with skill and authenticity, demonstrating his ability to transcend the confines of any single genre or medium. Whether on the small screen or the silver screen, Breck's talent and dedication to his craft shone through, earning him the respect and admiration of colleagues and fans alike. His contributions to both television and film left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, cementing his legacy as one of the most beloved actors of his generation. Peter Breck died of a secret when his wife revealed it. Robertson's personal life has had its challenges and controversies. He has struggled with alcoholism for many years, and his addiction has led to many problems both on and off the set. In 1962, he was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol, and he also had several published incidents involving drunken behavior. Despite his struggles with alcoholism, Breck was able to get sober in the 1970s and remained sober for the rest of his life. He credits his sobriety to his Christian faith and has become an advocate for addiction recovery programs. In the late 1980s, Breck suffered a stroke that affected his ability to speak and walk. He worked hard to recover and eventually returned to acting, but his health continued to decline, decrease after this year. Breck married dancer Diane Bourne in 1960. They had a son, Christopher, who died of leukemia at age 30. Losing his son was a devastating blow to him. In a heartfelt announcement posted on Peter Breck's official website in June 2010, his wife Diane revealed that the esteemed actor had been battling dementia, a progressive neurological condition that affects cognitive function. This revelation came as a shock to fans and colleagues alike, who had long admired Breck's talent and vitality. Despite the onset of dementia, Diane emphasized that Breck's spirit remained intact, and he continued to find solace and joy in reading letters from his devoted fans, a testament to his enduring connection with his audience. As the progression of dementia took its toll on Peter Breck's cognitive abilities, his wife Diane regretfully informed fans that he could no longer fulfill autograph requests due to the limitations imposed by his condition. However, she offered reassurance that Breck derived immense pleasure from reading the heartfelt letters and messages sent by his admirers, which served as a source of comfort and support during his battle with illness. Despite the physical and mental challenges he faced, Breck's unwavering appreciation for the outpowering of love and admiration from his fans underscored the profound impact he had made on countless lives throughout his illustrious career. Despite grappling with the debilitating effects of dementia, Diane Breck conveyed that Peter remained physically healthy and did not require medication to manage his condition. This aspect of Breck's health provided a glimmer of hope amid the somber news, highlighting his resilience and fortitude in the face of adversity. Despite the challenges posed by his illness, Breck's robust physical health served as a testament to his enduring vitality and strength of character, qualities that had endeared him to fans and colleagues alike throughout his storied career. Tragically, Peter Breck's health took a turn for the worse when he was hospitalized on January 10, 2012. 
The news of his hospitalization sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, prompting an outpouring of support and well wishes from fans and colleagues alike. Despite the gravity of the situation, Diane Breck remained steadfast in her devotion to her husband, providing comfort and companionship during his time of need. On February 6, 2012, the world bid farewell to Peter Breck, a beloved actor whose contributions to the entertainment industry had left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of audiences around the globe. He passed away at the age of 82 in Vancouver, British Columbia, surrounded by his loved ones. Breck's death marked the end of an era, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with fans of all generations. While his physical presence may have departed, his spirit lives on through the timeless characters he brought to life on screen and the enduring impact of his work.